Good afternoon guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video we are going to learn how to save the views and render it. So here today we are going to do high renders but before that we need to save the views. Now I will just show you my whole project. This is basically a retail shop. Okay. So I have here so this is my first room where I have one mini queen display unit and this is my second room with some linear lights on the ceiling So before saving the views, we shall understand what is perspective. So if you come from any art background, you may know what is perspective. But if you don't, then let me explain you. So whenever you are saving the views, okay, save it such a way that it is on eye level. It should seem like you are standing there and you are seeing it. Don't save something like this. Okay, you are not going to stand here and see this one like this. Okay, so save the view such that it is at eye level. So first let's go and check out the perspectives. So the first one here is one point perspective. So this one point perspective, it is a perspective wherein we have one vanishing point on the horizon line. Suppose let me select any image. Okay, let me select this one. Okay, so this is my horizon line. Imagine this is an imaginary horizon line. And you can see this two streets are meeting at one point. Okay, this point. So this kind of view or this kind of perspective is one point perspective where you can see that all this is coming and meeting at one point here okay similarly we'll just see other images okay this is another one okay where if this is a horizon line everything is coming and just you know vanishing at this point so this is one point perspective where you have one meeting point so how we can set the view of one point perspective in the dialogues evos okay so to rotate it you can use your uh, left mouse button okay you can hold it and rotate it this way okay to zoom in and out you can use your right mouse button okay hold it and you can move it like this so now one point perspective this one okay imagine my line to be meeting somewhere here this one and this one is coming and meeting here okay uh, second important thing is whenever you are saving the views make sure your lights are visible okay that is the overall intention because we are doing a lighting design and and we need to show the lights so just save a view such that even your lights are visible okay one point perspective is done and I'm going to just save this one okay it is at eye level make sure it is at eye level also go to the export and save new view okay this view is saved you can name it make it as v1 name meaning that it is view 1 okay now we can have more one point perspectives okay like this we can have one more uh, one point perspective say for this room at this end this will be my one vanishing point 
so we'll just adjust it my lights are visible and save new view and you can make rename it as view 2 So we have seen what is one point perspective then another perspective we have that is a two point perspective let's go and check what it is so basically two point perspective it is where we have parallel lines along with width and depth of an object and they are represented as meeting two separate points so we have this street area again but here you can see previously in one point perspective we had one vanishing point but we have here two points like if I draw lines here on the horizon suppose I draw an imaginary line here like this if I draw it then on the horizon I will be having two points then this is called as two point perspective let's go and check it okay it is something like this this view okay wave if i just you know uh, increase this lines and somewhere at the horizon they will go and meet it okay so we have two point perspective and one point perspective you can save it that way and another easiest way is just doing a straight one okay so that your whole retail shop is visible again you can see this is a one point perspective okay where this tool where this face and this face go and meet at one point right so i'm just going to save this view also export save new view and this is my view three okay similarly i'm going to save it on this side yes save new view rename it as view 4 all right okay so we have done with uh, saving the views we have totally four views saved and even you can take the top view if you need okay go to the site or story mode and select the top view but now i don't want the top views so i just wanted to show the perspectives and and the inner views so now I have not done the calculation. Before calculation, I have uh, saved the images, uh, saved the views. You can do it even after the calculation. There is no issue. Just go to the calculation, and as you have, as you see, my lights are already placed. So I'll just run the calculation, entire project. So my calculation is completed, just I will close this display option and I will save my project. So my project is saved, you can just close the results overview, go to the export. So in my project I have used uh, lights with cool white, not warm white, that's why it's white in color. Now, we have already saved views. Once you're, what we are going to do is just click on the view and show view. Okay, right. Now, this is with the light output, but the image is what I saved that were without light output. So, it's simple. Just do it, replace view, and view with the light output will be saved. Click on this other view, view 3. Click on show view and see with the light output you can just replace it. Do the same for the remaining one. Show view. 
and replace view view one show view and replace view so we have saved all my views with the light output another thing i want to share you here is suppose you have any object or anything any artwork where you want to specifically go and show it okay say in my case my mannequin okay here this one so on the eye level if i stand suppose i'm standing here and seeing this one then this will be my angle so you can save it this way also no need to worry about the one point and two point perspective make sure li your lights are visible and whatever your the object you want to um, show to your client that one is properly set and make sure it is not set like this or like this okay it is not a proper angle you can save it if you like but the proper angle is always better so we'll just save it this view save new view and rename it with the v view 6 v6 okay done so we have saved all our views now we need to do high renders the rendering options also depends upon your system specs suppose you have a full hd graphic cards or only hd graphic cards so now we are just going to do a ray tracing okay we'll select the view for which we want to ray trace it select the view show view go to this ray tracer and here you can see resolution okay you can increase or decrease here down you can see the resolution scale it is 1600 into 1200 pixels okay this is enough for the application but if you want you can increase it or decrease it you can totally go it to 3200 pixels and 2400 pixels I'll just make it to 1600 into 1200 pixels and do start retracing. Down you can see here the progress, okay, how much it is completed. Once this is completely filled, you, can, you will have an image, rendered image. So you can see here, this is my rendered image. Okay, wherein I have this mirror effect and my tiles reflection factor. Okay, even if you see on the mannequin, okay, it has slight glowing. Okay, usually which we see on the mannequins. My glass is clear. Okay, and all the elements are properly visible. Okay, so I can just close it. In the render also here it is visible. So what you can do is just rename it V1 Render. We'll go back and do one more render for v2 select show view go to ray tracer my scale is already specified now click on start ray tracing so here my image is rendered and you can see the glass effect my lights are properly visible tiles have a nice glowing effect ok we will just compare this one you can see here this is without ray trace and this is with the ray trace here my mirror was not properly visible but here you can see the mirror is visible my tiles doesn't have any glowing effect but this after ray tracing I have a proper tile effect You can close this one and rename this one make it as v2 render similarly you can render all the images okay you can directly save the images from here or if you want to save the rendered images click on the image and save image you can just select it and save it on your destination save image save image even this one so I'll just show you the images 
which I have saved on desktop. So these are my final views, rendered views you can see here. Similarly, you can do rendering for the other views. You can use the rendered views in your presentation, dialogues, reports and product presentation. So this is it guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Stay connected to explore more in dialogues with me. Thank you.